Meet the cuttlefish, a mollusk well known for its exceptional camouflage skills. In about two seconds, it can dissolve into the background and then stand out again. It does this by opening and closing red, yellow and brown pigmented sacs called chromatophores in its skin. These are under direct control of the nervous system, which is why they can change so fast. It also has specialised reflector cells in the skin, which give iridescent greens and blues. But not only can it modify its colour, it can also change its texture. Bundles of muscles can make its skin go from smooth to spiky, so that it blends in with surrounding rocks. Recently, researchers have been finding out that cuttlefish are also masters of communication. They don't only change their body patterns to fit in, but also use different motifs to communicate with fellow cuttlefish. This male and female pair are enjoying a romantic moment. Some other males approach and try and get in on the action, but the male wants to tell them that the female is all his. By making his zebra stripes more distinct, he's clearly signalling his masculinity. He also stretches out one of his arms as a barrier. He won't let the other males get any closer. Cuttlefish don't only have to deal with each other, there are also predators and prey to attend to. In this case, the pair senses a threat from the diver who's videotaping them and decides to take action. The female camouflages herself to hide while the male gives a V signal. Not really a peace sign, but rather an attempt to startle the diver so he can get away. But most remarkable is the recent discovery that cuttlefish can tailor their responses to different threats. This display is called the passing cloud and can be used to distract prey. It translates as something like, watch this so I can catch you. The moving pattern is hard to focus on and can also be used to confuse predators. Mesmerised by the psychedelic display, they won't be able to tell if a cuttlefish is there or not. Fish like sea bass, or in this case a ballon wrasse, can be threatening, and cuttlefish have a specific message for them. They flatten their body so it takes up as much space as possible and fan out their fins. Two scary black eye spots appear on their back. What they're trying to say is, back off, I'm much bigger than you. But they won't try this with all predators, as some wouldn't be that easily fooled. Crabs, for example, hunt by using smell. Dogfish locate foods by sensing electric fields. When confronted by these animals, a cuttlefish uses the most sensible approach. It will swim for its life.